hi and welcome back so in the last video we it was i think a bit complicated for you or it was hard maybe for you to get it because it's the first time for you to try hooks but again you just need to try it a couple of times and it will be uh, a lot easier than it seems but one thing that i want to remind you all the time is that the use state hook right here it will return an array with two items this is the most important thing that the user state will return for us an array with two items the first one is the piece of data that we are trying to store the second item is a function that will be responsible for updating that piece of data and here in my text right here in my text file I have told you that the user state can store numbers or strings i have showed you strings in an example numbers are not that different at all because if you take a look right here we can uh, i'm just gonna duplicate it very quick let's call it for example age and set age and to be honest right here i didn't use let's say numbers i didn't use them alone because uh, it's very very hard to find the place where you need to store number and then retrieve it i mean uh, the number could be a part of an object an object like for example the age of a user the number of a likes on a specific post but age by itself or storing a number by itself in a state like it's very hard to find a situation like this so what i will do i will skip this one I skip the number and move to the boolean right here because with boolean we can do tremendous amount of things we can do a lot of powerful thing powerful things and to show you a real example what i will do i will go back to the application that i have showed you and um, i'm going to click on books right here that will go ahead and show all the books that we have and i'm going to cl click for example on this one right here fitness for kids or whatever we can see this share icon that we have it right here if i click on it this will this pop up will or this window will pop up and i can close it and this is a powerful situation where we can use boolean where we can use boolean so let me show you how to do that how to get this functionality to work first of all i'm just going to search for um, react uh, let's say uh, I, I forgot the name of the package i believe it was react model yeah we have the react model here on mbm just go ahead and search for react model mbm once you do that once you i want you to open the first package right here or the first result and by the way it's a it's just a let's say a, a package or a, it's just a window that will pop up and we can make use of that but the whole thing i'm just going to click on the here to copy the installation uh, script or the the command i'm going to open a new command by clicking right here or let's say sorry split the the terminal i'm going to say npm install react model give it an enter that will go ahead and install this package right here okay and what we want to do we want to go ahead and um, uh, do, do do something uh, let's say do some setup in order for us to get that thing to work so what i will do i will go ahead and uh, let's say refactor or remove some of the parts that we have right here so first of all i'm going to close my sidebar i'm going to kill the second terminal that we have it over here and we can focus on the code so i'm going to remove the update error function and all the thing that we have it over here let's keep it very simple like so and now we need to go back and copy some of the code from the example because uh, from the example snippet i don't want to write everything from scratch what i will do i will copy it from uh, the import model from right here all the way to the this thing right here i want you to copy it like so so once we do that we need to go back to our application and base it like so and by the way the import statement uh, oh, so wait, wait my mistake we need to base it outside of the function body right here so I'm just gonna base it over here okay very very simple so first of all we are importing the model from the package that we have installed and here we are creating a custom styles you can get rid of that but 
uh, I will show you where we can use it. And here is the important thing. We have, we are saying model, which is the package name right here that we have imported, dot set, set up element. The, here we need to give it an element uh, that will be uh, used in order for us to inject the model inside. So what I will do, I will click right here to open my uh, file tree or you can click command and B or control and B. I will go to the public folder to the indexed HTML and here we have this div right here. I'm just going to duplicate it and give, give it an ID of model. Okay. Give it a save going back or close this file. And here I says up dot set up element or sorry model dot set up element. I will just say model. Okay, because again, we are trying to inject this model in an HTML element. This is really important when you are trying with working with models. Okay, once we do that, we can give it a save right here. And now it's time for us to go ahead and make use of that model. So what I will do right here. Uh, first of all, we need to define a piece of a state for our model, whether it's a visible or not. So you can see right here, I'm, I'm toggling that model, if it's a visible or not. So we can make use of the use state hook. So what I will do, I will say use state. Okay. And what I will do, I will go ahead and uh, we can store a Boolean value right here. I will give it initially false. False. Why it's false? Because initially when the post or when, when this page is loaded, the model is invisible. So that's why I will make it invisible by giving the initial value to be false. Okay. And I'm just going to create a variable. I'm going to destructure the values. I will say, uh, let's say, for example, we can give it model uh, visible. Okay, so we can, uh, by the way, the name right here, it's a bit confused because uh, you will see a lot of developers say, is model visible or uh, let's say model visible, depending on uh, their, uh, let's say, their preferences. But the best thing to do, it is to take a look on the documentation. Here we can see they have called it model is open and said is open. So again, you can go ahead. The best thing to do is to take a look on the documentation and do the same thing just to be on the safe side because other developers will follow the documentation. So you need to be on the same page. So we can call it model is open. So model is open and I will say said is open like so. And now once we do that, we have a piece of state that will control if the model is open or or not okay and by the way it's not now what we can what we can do we can go ahead and uh, uh, make use of that it's a very very simple thing to do so what I will do right here I will create a model tag okay and inside our model we can give anything that we want anything that will be displayed on the model itself okay anything that we in, in my case and I'm, I'm displaying these share icons but in your case you could display anything okay so i will just say button i will say close model okay so again this is my basic implementation for our model okay but in our in your case maybe you you are you wanted to more advanced stuff now you need to be aware of uh, something here if you take a look on the, in the documentation uh, we can see that this model accept some uh, parameters right here okay and some of them are optional some of them are required but we need just to go ahead and give it the required let's say uh, uh, required uh, uh, let's say um, attributes so we have the first one is open which is a piece of state that will say if the model is open or not uh, on after open which is on after open model it's a function so we have it right here okay and we have a close model in our case we uh, we need this one on request to close we need the style and is open all these other stuff are unnecessary or optional and to do that here i'm just going to do it so we can say is open it equal to model is open which is the piece of a state that we have created over here okay the name of the attribute is is open 
that this model require and our piece of state which is right here it's a boolean value okay and the second one was the styles and we can give it our custom style that you have or we have copied from the documentation and the last one it's uh, on uh, on uh, request close this one right here which is essentially a function that will go ahead and close the model okay how do we close the model we can set is open to be false and to show you that here we have it right here uh, the on request to close attribute refer to the close model the close model essentially it's a function that will set is open to be false you can either pass it as a function over here like so as an inline function and say set is open to be false but they have just created a oh, false like so but they have created a custom function call it close model and the same thing okay we can do it so we can create a function called the close model and set it to be this content right here okay and we can reference our close model so the same thing are happening over here so again we have it like so it's a very very simple model however if you take a look on our application right now and give it a refresh nothing will happen why is that because we set the initial value of our uh, model is open to be false and we are not updating that value to be true in order for us to show our uh, model so if i change it to be true that will go ahead and show the model all the time let me show you so we have it over here so close this thing give it a refresh you will see that our model right here okay this is our model and by the way you can uh, always change it over here we have all these uh, let's say uh, style stuff okay so feel free to go ahead and but by default it will be centered and this kind of stuff if you are familiar with some of the css stuff then you already know how to handle these situations however what i want to focus on here i'm just going to add a button i'm just going to say open and what i will do the only click function it will say open model okay and this is a function that i will create right here so open model and the only benefit of this function right here will be just to set is open to be true okay so once i do that i will go back to the web browser we can i'm gonna give it a, okay we need to, of course to make this back to be false because i want the model to be invisible first so we have our, our button right here i'm gonna click on open that will open the model i'm going to click on close and that should go ahead and close the model well very very simple here we have our button close model button i'm going to say on click should be equal to the close model function that we have defined previously once we do that going back i'm going to click on open close open close and so on so this is how you can get a model to work you utilizing the user state and by the way I know that I went a bit over the scope of this lecture, which was about using the state with Boolean values. But again, I'm not happy if I, let's say, tell you just, hey, you need to, uh, the user state is accepting Boolean values and that's it. I just want to take it to more step further, which is to implement a model system. Okay, like so. And by the way, one thing that I don't like, we can, if you, it's the style of the model. Okay, so what you can do, you can read further in the documentation how to style it. Okay, for example, you can see uh, using CSS classes for styling, okay, or customizing the default style. If you click on it, that will just go ahead and uh, give you more documentation about, uh, about how to style this uh, stuff, all right? And here it took me to the, let's say, to the, uh, I mean, code bin. I'm not sure why it does that. But uh, you will see you will see some examples. So you can see you can always go ahead and read further about customizing the style. I'm not gonna do that. I will give you the opportunity to do that. So hopefully that makes sense. In the next video, I will talk about using the user state with object, which is a really powerful thing. So with that being said, I will see you in another one.